So I heard that Roaring Kitty's back. This is interesting because Doge is back up. Only natural, right? That Doge is back up because Roaring Kitty's back. We're going to pump it in. We're going to pump it up. We're going to pump it out. You know what I mean? And we haven't actually gone down back to like, like cents on a cent. We're staying above 10 cents, which is good. And from the boost Doge is getting, she naturally also kind of follows the same Doge path. So wherever Doge goes, she goes. And I've actually made money from Sheep a little bit and lost money from Doge because I sold and blah, 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 blah. You know, but ignore that. And we move on to the way more interesting stuff, which I want to say is the Acorns account. <laughs> 622. An 8% increase up $47, which is actually insane because I've never been up this high. And I'm just kind of, I, I guess it's a good time to get in the market. I mean, ev everything's up. Everything's up right now. It's some pretty impressive to see and watch and see how it happens. And I don't know how this all works, man. I just I, I just kind of put money in and like let it do the work for me. There's a pending transfer of $6. There will be another pending transfer of a Chevron. I'm sure soon enough, whenever I get some of these things in here, I need to watch my money, though. Spending, spending, spending. Um, but we can, we can go on the acorns. I mean, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take my advice too literal. I'm chilling just to, just, just, just the guy trying to make a living. So, ah, uh, but what's more interesting is this <laughs> insane gains, insane market gains, little gains from the dividends and the market gains. I'm up. On the month, thirty-seven sixty. I'm up six bucks on like I think like the day. I'm up thirty-four eighty-six on the past year. Year to date, thirty-five max, thirty-four eighty-six. I think this is behind a little bit, but this is okay. Here is how they pan out. So, DraftKings is up. <laughs> Do I have a share yet of DraftKings? No, I'm right there. Maybe uh, I mean, I'll definitely put in more. I mean, I think I think you have to put in money into DraftKings. Like, they're expanding all the time. Betting is very profitable. So I think the earlier you can get in, the better you'll turn out. SoFi, very good. Um, I think this, the thing is everyone sees is kind of underrated. God, I must say 45. That's DraftKings one. I just think I, I mean I I have some more volatile ones, but in the past month, up seven cents past three months down a dollar, but I think there's potential here because they're still up last year from five into seven, it's a bit of a decline, but I think there's potential. And from when it started, I mean, people didn't really know it was up, but I think it's making the rebound right now. As long as a lot more people signing up. I know people are mad about like the sock freeze, but that's just it wasn't SoFi's fault. And Apple, we've actually managed to break. We've actually managed to get get green in Apple, which I might sell out of honestly. Like with the stock buybacks and they're announcing new stuff. I mean, this seems natural with Apple. See, they go down, they go right back up. Your eyes look that's insane again more volatile than the market <laughs> another one that's uh, i have more volatile in the intel process has not been great the jd uh money dump has been quite successful up 10 bucks in that one just to put that into perspective right there the jd chinese money dump been successful putting 50 got 10 out of it not bad so uh sfy is this the next 300 500 Select 500. Again, pretty good. We're up big. I mean, when these guys do good, that does good. So, not much we can really put in there. Uh, Canadian Pacific on the downturn right now. So, gonna stop putting money into that. And Vici is brought us back. <laughs> brought us back around. Um, I don't know if I'm really a big Vici guy, but. With all the real estate coming to Vegas right now, I think it's safe to get in before like the big boom because MLB Park's coming. I'm not sitting straight up, so I'm not taking as much up as much space. 
So I, I just, I would just, I'm probably going to stick with it reluctantly. Waste management, we're all going to have trash. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll always have trash. Keep in waste management. The Alibaba money dump along with JD. The Chinese money dump has been pretty good. Up five bucks there. Texas Roadhouse, my old reliable, is in there right now. Um, SFYX. Uh, the next, this is the next, right? Next, the next 500 ETF. On the way up, steady up. Same, mean, same as, I think, I think if you can find an ETF that you like and that has promising companies in it, you should like buy it, especially with so so far how they're specific to SoFi. Maybe they're not, um, but they're specific to that. I think you should get in because they're cheap and you can put a lot of money in. It's just constant, it's consistent gains. And then Roy can use back, so you know I gotta get a pump, a, a little chunk of change in GMEs, five bucks. Lost money from, but it's, it's it's okay. Like, it's very much fine. Like, if you were holding GME, you sold out right here. You did good, but you, you gotta. You had your fun bottom, and you can't switch for the mine stockers. Damn. I think you should always have a meme stock, one or two of them. Like, I have Doge and Sheep. That's different than having an actual, like, company meme stock, but. Stick with it. Some of my work. I would pad this out to eight minutes, but I don't really feel like talking anymore. But remember, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to do this for entertainment. I watch my journey. Watch the moves. Really, really. I don't really break them down too much. I just kind of say things, hope they stick. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thank y'all. Bye bye.